What is XML? General description. Before we get into modding for Farming Simulator, we have to get the basic idea of the language we are going to be using. If you understand XML and its many uses, then skip past this section, but for those that don't, stick around, we're going to learn something. XML stands for Extendable Markup Language, and it's exactly that, a language. So keep that in mind, it's hard to learn a new language, don't be so hard on yourself. XML was designed to store and transport data. XML was designed to be both human and machine readable. XML stores data in plain text format. This provides a software and hardware independent way of storing, transporting, and sharing data. The difference between XML and HTML? XML and HTML were designed with different goals. XML was designed to carry data with a focus on what data is. HTML was designed to display data with a focus on how data looks. XML tags are not predefined like HTML tags are. XML elements are represented by tags. Elements usually consist of an opening tag and a closing tag, but they can consist of just one tag. Opening tags consist of a less than sign followed by the element name ending with a greater than sign. Closing tags are the same, but have a forward slash inserted between the less than symbol and the element name. Example, empty elements are closed by inserting a forward slash before the greater than symbol. As you see below, tag, mod, tag. Example of an empty tag would look like that. It's important to take note of the syntax rules, especially if you're used to working with HTML where you don't usually need to worry about these rules. All elements must be properly closed at the end. If you're familiar with HTML, you will know that some HTML tags don't need to be closed. In XML slash modding, however, you must close all the tags. This is usually done in the form of closing tag where you re repeat the opening tag but put a forward slash before the element name, child. If you're using an empty element name, you need to place a forward slash before the greater than symbol at the end of the tag. Example of opening and closing tags, child, mod, child. Example of empty tags with an attribute, child attribute equals value. Tags are case sensitive. All tags must be written using the correct case. XML sees wheels as a different tag to capital W wheels. Example of wrong case sensitive. Capital tutorial, but uncapitalized closing tag tutorial. That's an error waiting to happen. And below are some examples of the right case sensitive to where everything's the same. Everything matches. You can use any name you like for your elements as long as they adhere to the following rules. Can contain any character, including letters and numbers. Must not contain spaces. Must not begin with a number or punctuation character, for example, a comma or a semicolon. And must not start with the letters XML, whether lowercase, uppercase, or a mixed case. Don't put it in the beginning of it. Below is an example of in-game code from a placeable. You will see the word clear areas. That is the parent. And then below that you will see child where it says clear area. So we are now defining a clear area. Inside of that child will be attributes. Those will be highlighted in green if you're looking at this on a colored monitor. <laughs> Those attributes are defining factors. Attribute is a markup construct consisting of a name, value, pair that exists within a start tag. An example is this tag here, wheel. File name would be the attribute inside of there. And you'd see the value that it's displaying. So it'd be looking for that file name, wheel.dds. And it's naming it as ID, which we could refer back to using XML later on. Attributes can be added to XML elements to provide more information about the element. And that's basically what they've done here with this wheel. That's the basic information that I need to make sure you understand for us to move forward 
into the next section and our next video, which will be next time, my friends, on the mod disc. Mm -hmm.